queen and the she king Hello. of the Treme sidewalk steppers. I feel like if I'm gonna be recognized, we should be recognized together because we are gonna become a union. So if y'all want me, she coming with the package. Even though this is my city, this is gonna be our moment. It's a package deal, is she bringing me too? I think this belt should come off. You want me to take it off? Beautiful, I want you to be comfortable. I'm not, that's, that's not gonna happen. Oh, as comfortable as you're gonna be. Okay. Smile, beautiful, we gonna have fun. Okay? Sure. <laughs> that's so fake, give me kiss at least. We kind of push the limit. This parade, being so close to the wedding, I don't know if this was the best idea. Probably not the greatest idea. But for the culture and for the city of New Orleans, it was like, yes, I'm representing for my baby in this mother <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, Hi. how you doing? I'm Victor how John. How are you, Victor? What brings you in to us today? Oh, man, I just want to get the right stone for my fiance because it's her birthday. So I'm planning a surprise party. And then I would like to propose to her because she already proposed to me. Oh, congratulations. And I feel like every woman should get that feeling of somebody proposing. OK, if you'd like, we could sit in the back and take a look at some stones and go from there. Thank you so much. Right, let's take a look. See, don't it feel good in here? I have been looking for rings. I have seen every size, cut, every ring setting, every molecule. I done damn near went to a diamond mine. And the prices, they all high. But guess what? It don't matter how much it costs. My credit kind of still up from the bankruptcy. So if I got to sell some ass, I'm going to give my baby the perfect ring. My fiance, she proposed to me. It's this huge, huge surprise birthday party. And she planned it for like, Eight months. You have the 20 carat. The <laughs> you have the four carat, which is very classic, and then you have a nine carat. I want all of them. They all for you. Oh my God, I, I swear I'm gonna come. My baby surprised me and proposed to me with like three platters with like six different rings on it. <laughs> Ain't no way I could compete with that. But you know what, I'm gonna try my best just to make her happy and I wanna propose to her so she feels that same feeling. And she has that, you know, as, as a part of her journey and her memory of us. Like I got down on one knee and proposed and did it like the traditional way. Let's just say she prepares yeah. and I don't. <laughs> I'm kind of last minute, but, um, so I'm, I need this today. <laughs> oh, let's not jump too far ahead of the game. I want to show you some stones. Yeah, let's look, 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 look at okay. them. So um, I have rounds. And, no, uh, no rounds. That's too common. Okay. She's not a common woman. OK, well, I have a six carat oval cut, mm -hmm. if you're interested in it. It's mm -hmm. internally flawless. Mm -hmm. OK, let's Would you check like to that see out. that? Yeah, okay. please, thanks. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. And in the meantime, if you guys get thirsty, please just let me know. I have drinks, I've got wine, I've got all kinds of good stuff here. OK, thank you, Victor. Mm -hmm. Want to take the edge off? Uh, no, I got so much more stuff to do. Nothing about my baby is average, common, or regular. Ain't nothing about her regular. So when I see this stone, it couldn't be no cloudy stone. It couldn't be no stone. It had to be the perfect cut and the perfect shape. Like, I know my baby. It's got to be extra. It's got to have that zhuzh to it, like that. Because <laughs> that's what my baby is, all the way. This right here Ooh. is an internally flawless diamond from the Gemological Institute of America. This is a uh, six carat 18. Does that look small though? Remember, I had three. Let me show you another option. This is a marquee cut diamond. Yeah, let me show you what it looks like Ooh. in the mount. Ooh. Ooh. What are we looking at for something like this? <laughs> this one right here is close to 300,000. I'm sorry? <laughs> 300,000. 
That's my mama house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Based on what you're looking at, now I'm gonna bring out a combination of the marquee and the oval all in one diamond. This is called the pear-shaped diamond. Okay. So you can get the best of both worlds right now into one stone. Okay. Would you like beautiful. to see that? Yeah, that sounds okay. good. My baby bought me a marquee. She bought me six damn rings. So when he came out with this pear, ooh. Jesus. Bitch, I thought about her long, dainty fingers and her long ass nails and how it would just sit because I wanted that rock to be like. Ooh. <laughs> That's her. Yeah. That's her. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, you saying yes to it? But this combined quality, does that combine the price of both of them bad boys? Well, uh, it's actually a little less. This one actually is coming in at 180. But I mean, that's still hot as <laughs> but. <laughs> so is this something you think you'd like to do? Absolutely. Y'all take wick. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all take food stamps. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> And with this style, you can, I mean, you heard her time is of the essence. Like, we can have this done. The ring's going to need a little bit of work, but uh, let me see what we got. This is a lot, yo. My back is sweating. I've been nervous. My nerves been shot. Trying to get a party together. I ain't doing another one till we 50, OK? But I have to do this, because it's going to make her heart so happy. Like, I've never had anybody love me the way she loves me. It's like love, love. I love her so much. She's my everything. Oh, babe. No, for real, yo. <laughs> oh, my God. I am nervous. I'm anxious. I'm excited at the same time. I'm all these things wrapped in one because I know this is going to knock her socks off. And she is not going to have any idea that this is what's happening. Y'all see Brad in Hollywood walking up and down Hollywood Boulevard with them red heels on like pretty woman? Yep, because I got my baby this ring. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Thank you. No, you're good. Well, the jeweler's got the ring. He's going to go ahead and get you all set. He went Thank back you. to the shop. OK. Thank God bless you, so you God bless and you congratulations. Too. Thank you so much. Pleasure it's to meet nice you. you. Thank you. Yes. I got a ring. So I got a ring. Huh. She I got, got a ring. Huh. And I'm going to get on one knee. OK. Uh, uh, at the party. Uh, 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 they marry uh, me. Uh, 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 I got okay. a ring. Uh, and it's a pair. Uh, I love it forever. <laughs> Come on, stand I up. Did good. Go, 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 go. I did good, Mommy. You did so good. I did good. Well, I flew into Atlanta today for my mom's surprise party, but honestly, I'm not I'm not sure that I'm really in a partying mood. I've been feeling kind of uneasy since me and my mom's talking in the nail shop in New Orleans. I ain't, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not even in a headspace to talk about it with her. I think Kenzie might be a little hungry. Yeah, you ready to go get some breakfast? Huh? I'm gonna put the bed in. Okay, we're gonna go put you to bed to get some breakfast. Let's go. See you later, baby. Give Nana, give Nana a kiss. Give Nana a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell Mama we gone. Okay. See you later. Okay. Yeah. Bye -bye. See you later, Mama. We gonna get breakfast. Let me come walk y'all out. Come on. Come on. We gonna get some breakfast. Be good, Kenzie. Say bye bye. See y'all later. Bye bye, Nana. See ya. Bye. Bye. We gotta talk. We do have to talk. What do you want to talk about? OK, we're up here for the 40th birthday party, right? Mm -hmm. But as you can see, I'm having some issues with my legs, so I'm not going to be able to go. I don't think I want to go. Um, me and my mom haven't talked since the whole nail shop situation. And I told her then and a couple of times that there's a lot of stuff we got to talk about. And she hasn't made time to talk about it, so. The two of you, again, oil and water, and y'all just don't mix. What is it exactly that you want from your mom? What's the bottom line? I tried to put you two together to come to some meeting of the minds, and we still walk in different paths. Because she's stubborn. Y'all never see eye to eye, ever. So I think you may have some unresolved issues. She may have some unresolved issues. I feel like my mother's big issue with me is she feels that other than Kenzie, I've never had any real responsibility. I've never really had anything 
to really take care of or anything that I ever had to worry about. But I was taking my brothers to school in the morning. I was making the groceries. I was cooking dinner. So I was never really able to have my own life per se. As far as missing anything growing up, my weekends, school activities, I don't really go to school activities. So just, I guess, that high school experience of being a, a high school student. And then I'm stuck doing the things that my mom expected me to do. And I feel like now I'm being judged because she's expecting X, Y, Z, and that is not how it's going. I don't know. So you feel like your mom's disappointed in you? I would say I'm not where she wants me to be, and I can tell. In my eyes, all the expectation that I have is just that you find your path, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Because once you find your path, you will be successful because it's gonna make you happy and it's gonna be something you want to do and something that you can do, that you love to do. So I don't know, maybe it's that she doesn't see success the same way that you do. It's just difficult to figure out where the two of you or diverging in your understanding of each other. So from what I'm getting from her, she feels if I like something, she wants me to score everything else, this is what I want to do and go straight for it. I have a child, so I'm scared to not work and go to school for something that may take some time and mess up my situation. If I have a good job right now that's paying the bills, me and the kids are okay, work towards something else next. I don't want to set myself up to fail because I have a child and I don't want it for myself either. I would rather have a plan than to not have a plan to mess up. You know what I'm saying? That's what she sees. Everybody goes through life. I don't, I don't like feeling like this. So I try to avoid it. I don't want to be put in a position that I can't handle and I don't want to have to ask nobody for nothing. The first step, I'm working on the health portion of it. Next step is the mental portion. I'm supposed to be having my surgery. It's a whole lifestyle change. So I have the steps in the play. I'm trying to work on it myself to where I don't set myself up to have to live off of her. I don't want that. So I know my mom has a certain expectation for me, but at the least, at the least, I would like for her to know that if one thing, they should take care of herself and they should take care of her child. These things are not gonna go away. They're gonna have to be worked through till you get to some resolution, because you're not happy. I just need the two of you to be working on it. I think we're gonna need some therapy to just figure everything out so that we can we can have a better relationship. And for the new baby, it, it won't be the same. And I know that's not easy. It's families are just complicated, period. But a Freudian birthday party, is that a milestone that needs to be celebrated? Probably so. Okay. But with everything we didn't do today, I, I don't think I can. Okay, that's gonna be tough. But mm -hmm. I know it'll be something that's good therapy for. Mm -hmm. Knowing how my mom is, I'm sure she's probably gonna feel some type of way about me not going because I'm, I'm that one child that always comes to everything for her. But at least it'll let her know that I am serious that we need to sit down and have a conversation. Coming up on Brett Loves Judy. Me and my mom are concerned that Deja commits to a lot but doesn't follow through. I would love for her to take this thing serious. Surgery ain't nothing to play with. You know we're getting ready to work on having a baby. Who? Me and baby. Like a live baby. A baby! That's a lot of food, trust me. Ooh, I got to sit down, Lord. <laughs> no, no. Who is that baby for? I'm not, we're not doing it. Hey, beautiful. Hey. 
Hey, beautiful. Hi. Hi. Stay right there, guys. Hi, beautiful. You look cute. Thank you. Oh, you smell so good. You feel so good. I smell tasty. You smell, you smell tasty, yeah. <laughs> What are you doing in here, cleaning up? Just straightening up. I Girl, wanna... how much more straight can it get? I want to talk to you. Not nothing like that. OK. <laughs> you called the grandbaby. Oh, he's sitting in these chairs. You want to talk to me, talk to me. No, it's not nothing like that. <laughs> OK. Happy birthday, by the way, beautiful. Thank you, beautiful. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but I just wanted to say it again. Bitch, I'm 40. You. Girl. 40 and fabulous, baby. New Orleans is great. I loved it. I enjoyed the parade so much. Girl, me, Deja, and my mama had pedicures the other day, and my mom said that she feels like me and Deja are like oil and water. And I was like, I didn't know I had issues with Deja. I don't want for you to feel like you wasted time. Mm. When I was raising my children, they had it pretty easy. You know, she got to do pretty much anything she wanted. I wanted to do uh, lash tech, be a lash technician. What would you be pursuing? Social media stuff, I'm guessing. But with school, I was going to take the time and figure it out. Oh, they said oil issues and with water. Me. That's like, like why would don't you say mix. Oil and water. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. What? No, it. Girl, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> she also mentioned wanting to have the surgery. I don't necessarily know if that's the best thing because me and my mom are concerned that Deja commits to a lot but doesn't follow through. What's the plan after your surgery? As far as after, we would, of course, come back to New Orleans um, after that recovery period. Then what? I haven't figured it out yet. Deja saying she don't even have a post-surgery plan in place makes me feel like she's not all the way prepared to take that big step. And I would love for her to take this thing serious, because surgery ain't nothing to play with. My brother passed away from complications. And so my mom is concerned that Deja is Some a Some people pass away from, from being pregnant, too. Beautiful. No, we're not going to think that, OK? We're not going to think that, OK? OK? Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Every, everything's going to be fine. We're getting all the tests and all the checks. Everything's going to be fine, OK? Brad is a hard ass to all of y'all, and she shows her vulnerable side to me. I think she's going to have the same vulnerable side for the child. And I think when the baby comes, that that vulnerable side is going to be on a million. Everything's going to be fine. Beautiful. OK. <laughs> Talk about something else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <clears throat> Everything's gonna be fine, I promise. The baby's gonna be fine. It's gonna be an amazing experience. The baby's gonna be beautiful. And they're gonna, we gonna name a Miracle. <laughs> Miracle's the first name, middle name is Drop. No, hell no. You make me cry <laughs> all the time. Good tears, pissed off tears, most of the time happy tears, I'm in sorry. love tears. Oh, take it back, don't be sorry. Oh, beautiful, your knees gonna hurt, sit down. They hurt already. Come on, let me help you up. Yeah. Come on, come on, beautiful. It's going like this. <laughs> I've always heard that childbirth is like the closest thing to death that you could come to. So hell, I want to have a baby, but a bitch don't want to die. Were you scared? What, when I was pregnant? Yeah. Yeah, I was 15. I was young. It was. How long does it take for him to come out? One of them damn children, I was almost like four days. It's not bad, though. Like, don't listen to the horror stories. Now, what if both of us have, like, issues? I think you're thinking the worst. I think both of us are going to be fine. I'm not thinking the worst. I just be nervous. I'm just I know. nervous. That's I, all. I, I think, I've never done it. I think both of us is going to be fine. We just didn't have to make a decision of who's going to carry. I think you would be cute pregnant. It ain't got to do with cute. So I do feel like, because I'm over 40, the risks are higher. So it's all scary. But when it's something you want to do in life, you know, you only live once. So I feel like, you know, you got to take the shot, shoot your jumper, or you won't know if you make the shot. I'm just scared. There's a lot of things I'm scared about. Everything kind of stops. Your life changes completely. As far as your life as you know it, it kind of will completely change. Coming up on Brett Loves Judy. You know, you guys come in, she's so excited. She's like, beautiful, what's going on? You know, like, what's happening? Uh -huh. Like, she's gonna die about the party she and she is. gonna flat line about she the ring. I'm proposing secretly. It is a big deal. Lead me to the right place, Lord. You need a dope finale.
see what it's looking like. This place come highly recommended. Hey! Hey, sugar. How's it going? How are you? The day is here. Oh, good to see what you. What it is? Hi, oh, Bella. So good to see you. Oh, no. I feel like I've been seen seen forever. forever, right? right. Well, welcome. Course. Let's kind of go a little bit about the guest experience, okay? Okay. So they walk in. Uh -huh. Remember, we have our two beautiful aerialists. Yes, we do. Right? Yes. So, walk way down the center. Two chicks hanging. Yes. yes. Right? Two oh, chicks hanging. hanging. I need, I need, I need. Yeah. 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 Two chicks hanging. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Two chicks hanging. Okay. Some decor. Uh -huh. You know, it's, it's gonna look like Fashion Week. Oh, quick. I know you are. All right. I know you gonna okay, kill it. Cool. So I'm thinking. You know, you guys come in, she's so excited. Everyone's hugging, oh my God, I didn't yeah. believe this was gonna happen. Uh -huh. And then she's like, beautiful, what's going on? You know, like what's happening? Uh huh. Called 40 Shades of Judy. Oh, that's cute. Everybody coming is dressing like Judy, all the females. Ooh, I'm gonna go with Judy Claus. After talking to Ellie about doing the wedding, Ellie offered to do this for free for me as like a wedding gift. And plus, Ellie knows me and knows the things I like and don't like. So it's just been a lot on my plate, yo. We just did the New Orleans thing. I got all this wedding stuff coming up and I'm proposing secretly. So it's like, <laughs> baby might not think I got a lot on my plate, but shit, my cup run its mother over. So what I would love to do, <laughs> since you guys are already sitting back, <laughs> unleash the strippers. You're already sitting on the couch. I'll get a blowhorn. Unleash the dancers <laughs> and the cage is open. <laughs> so what are we gonna do about the finale part? Ooh. We gotta Ooh. figure that out. It's gotta be dope. Oh, right? Cause did you? You got it. I got it. You I got, got it. it. I got it. Congratulations. <laughs> I got it. Thank she's you. going to like she's gonna die about the party. She and she's is. Gonna flat line about she the ring. Is. So once she says yes, should we have some cannons going off or the fire Hell starts? Yeah. Yes. Hell okay. Yeah. So yeah, either or. We'll get Spark either of them. Sparkles, cannons, sure whatever the uh, lions, tigers, right and bears. Of the <laughs> is going off. Yeah. We all just gonna make it a moment. Right. Okay. Let's get through tomorrow. Okay. I know we got 11 days until the wedding. We're not playing. Oh my so. God, it's about to really happen. It's really happening. Oh, I got to sit down, Lord. <gasps> I did not know. They're planning a wedding was gonna be this hard. The time ticks down to the date, but the date does not move. So it went from us having seven months <laughs> to four months to two months to two weeks. It is a lot. I will write the complete timeline, send it to you, Bella and Juana, so everyone has it. If you need anything, just let me know. Okay, Ellie Mae. All right, good to well, see I you. Well, I thank you so much, of honey. Of course, always. Okay, we just need our I can't wait to see what you do to this place. Bye-bye. All right, Ellie, thank you. I love these pictures, it's yo. It's so cute. You getting excited? Yeah. I've been excited, but you know I'm like a perfectionist and I want it to go right, but I don't want to bust nobody's ass and be like, this ain't right, I don't like this. Long as my baby happy, that's all I care about. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be more than happy. And then with the finale? Bitch, you about to propose. Oh, I gotta write down what I'm gonna say. I gotta memorize it. Something short, sweet, and to the point. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you've been missing everything. You know, we went to New Orleans for the parade and mm -hmm. the ball and the Treme sidewalk stepper thing. Mm -hmm. Girl. But we kinda got put on the spot. What you mean? Well, you know we're getting ready to work on having a baby. Huh? We're getting ready to work on having a baby. Who? Me and baby. Are gonna have a baby? We're gonna have a baby. Like a baby. A baby. Like a live baby. A baby! Wait, huh? wait. <laughs> You've been gone, man. You've been gone. This what is you why you can't like? miss nothing. <laughs> We gotta get past the wedding, we gotta get past all this stuff. But then she think I should carry it because she want me to have the experience. I just don't know how it works. It took us four tries to get pregnant. What you mean? We had to do it four times. Like to the have shots many. and stuff? Four rounds of intimidation. Well, then, okay. Did you combine? No, so. You didn't put your eggs? No, Stacy was gonna carry my egg, mm -hmm. but we decided not to go that route. So when we selected our donor, we matched every possible detail to my background. Okay. And then we did photo matching. Photo and then matching. I matched with the donor, so my images matched to the donors, like to the T. So that's why many look so much like me. <sighs> Lord. But you know, I mean, we went through the whole process. So why didn't you wanna do your eggs? I, I mean, I wanted it to look like her and me, like. But if it's your eggs, wouldn't it look like her and you? Well, no, if, it, if my egg was implanted, then it would look like me, and it would just, she would just essentially be like the oven. Oh, no, I don't like that. So, so they if you can't... implant your egg in the baby, it's going to be you in her oven. I want it to look like both of us, Bella. 
I mean, I don't think that that's Aww. scientifically possible. So the sperm that's gonna be inseminated. You keep it? No, it's frozen. So when we selected a donor, uh -huh. they send it. I went and picked it up and we took it to the doctor's office. So you ride it. with it? Oh, I rolled with it. I had like the sperm tank that I had to pick up. Bitch, the, the what tank? It's a sperm tank. So I had to like buckle it into the seat and then take it to our doctor's office. But I had like a playlist of like really good R&B music to set the tone. What do you mean a sperm tank? Yeah, so it's in, it's in like a frozen tank. <gasps> so I strapped it into the car and I made like a playlist. What do the tank look like, a little refrigerator? No, it's like a, think of like a kegerator. <sighs> it's a lot of to it, trust me. But it's fascinating. I did all the research, I did all of the, the, the back end research. I will give you all the knowledge that I spent years doing. Okay. I think both of you guys would be I'm incredible so excited, parents. Yo. I'm scared, but I'm excited at the same time. Now, what are the chances of something going wrong, though? Like, nothing. nothing. It, well, it depends. If you do IUI, which is what we did, mm -hmm. and that's where it's just insemination, mm -hmm. or if you do IVF. Does it hurt to inseminate her or me? Bitch, what if I'm the one? I mean, have you slept with a. Have you had. You had stuff. One thing is. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Are you prepared to carry and, and get, I mean, it's gonna change your whole lifestyle of eating and drinking and smoking? Yeah, I'm willing to do whatever. I'm just scared. I don't want my to split open. Well, I mean, you're not gonna have any control over that. What you mean? It like, depends on how big the baby's head is. Like, people Brielle had a big ass head, so that wasn't coming out, Stacy, so they had see, to cut it out. No, see, and then people that be pushing, they be looking like they wanna kill somebody. They be like, oh, get this mother out of me! So how do you avoid that pain part? No, ain't no avoiding that. Can't gonna... you get a, a, a epidural? An epidural? Yeah. That's gonna help some, but your still gonna be like, oh, my, my thing ain't gonna open like that. All women's things open up like that. <laughs> Coming up on Brett Loves Judy. <sighs> it's your birthday. I'm gonna take you to dinner. What's happening? Why? <sighs> well, she says she not gonna come to the party. Good evening, ladies. Hi. I'm Jasmine, I'm your waitress this evening. Hi, Jasmine. Prefera, ladies. Hello. My name is Chef Danielle. I'm so glad to have you here this evening. Chef Danielle. I mean, look, if there's a situation that calls for a little bit of dress up, I don't mind dressing up if we need to to have a little fun. I am Valerie. I am going to be your skate instructor. Good evening, ladies. Hi. My name is Anastasia. If I could play different characters and I could get into Judy Claus. Judy Claus is paying $10,000 in daycare for single moms. Happy holidays, girls. It's on me. I would do anything for family. So if that means dressing up and looking like a clown to putting on a dress for a wedding, I will absolutely do it. This is one of my many, many jobs. <laughs> Two twenty-two, twenty-two 22 is less than two weeks away. We still don't have our dresses. We still don't have that venue. I don't think nothing at this point could surprise me. Yeah. Girl, let me take a chance on you. I'll risk it all here for you. You're the only thing on my mind. Girl, not run me here to you. You that danger. I swear you like danger, danger. You keep running through my mind. Gonna make me change. Babe, what are you doing? What's on my phone? You're supposed to be getting dressed. It's your birthday. We're going to get something to eat. I'm going to take you to dinner. Come on, baby. Come on, guys. Let's go to mommy's closet. Come on. That is crazy. That really happened. I forgot it was my birthday. I did. Come on, baby. What's the matter? Nothing. You all right? Am I right, beautiful? Come on, beautiful. Trying not to. You gotta to work. find you something to wear. You gonna help that boy? You gonna help mommy pick out something to wear? You too loyal? You said you is the fashionista of the family. Between planning for the parade, planning for the wedding, I honestly haven't thought about it. And I was just like, oh, it's your birthday. You might should pull something out your closet. Okay, baby, what are we wearing? What do I need to put on? Um, I want you to be comfortable. 
but cute. You know how you be like if you're going somewhere to eat? This one? Hell no. <laughs> I'm not thinking about my proposal at all, what baby did for me. I just care about this being a perfect night for her, for her 40th birthday. Her friends and family being there, it being a dope fashion show, her being shocked that everybody dressed like her, and then me proposing, because she had no idea, I'm sure, that this is going to happen. Ooh, this spring is burning a hole in my pocket. I can't wait for her to see it. What about a bodysuit? Oh, she cute. She cute. We starting with one piece. OK. So that, a black bra, and some booty shorts. Hell no, you don't <laughs> need to wear no booty shorts. Well, right now, I'm trying to find this guy to get me some singles for the, the strippers. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to okay. That's honestly what I'm trying to call and find out where my powers are. I'm trying to find out where a lot of vendors are right now. Beautiful, so do I need to be dressy, dressy, like? Not dressy, dressy, not over the top. We're going to eat at a nice place, but I want you to be comfortable. I ain't playing no outfit. I ain't playing no hair like that. I have no idea what's going on. I know it gotta be something. You should do these. I love these, because they like joggers, but they half dressy and half dress down. Dress up this leg, dress down. I like that. And I like this. This is super cute. I remember you tried it on, it looked super cute on you, and I never- Wait, they got a dress over here. Oh, God. Hello? What's happening? Frida? What? Why? Beautiful. This one? That's cute too. That matched the shoes. Give me a oh. second, Kay. I love you. All right, I love you too, beautiful. Hello? What's happening? Why? So you gonna let that hinder you from coming to her birthday party? Scratch this. <sighs> uh, so, so you don't know how to put on just like a, a happy face just for the occasion? Like just, just show up. You don't have to stay long. You could say anything. You could say you don't feel good and leave, but I definitely think you should show up. She won. Two shoe options. All right, whatever, bye. <sighs> well, she says she's not gonna come to the party, so I have to just try to keep my head lifted and I just gotta do things to make sure my baby stay happy. But the, the part is that Deja and Kenzie was gonna be my last runway walk, so my baby would have been really surprised, so it's kind of disappointing. Hey, beautiful. Baby, we have enough options, okay? We running out of time? No, but you don't want to spend all day trying to find something to wear. I this still is... gotta get my I gotta get my hair done. Okay. So I just gotta go downstairs and get my hair done. All you right. gotta get your hair done too. Come on, get over my bro. Let's go, guys. Can't worry about this. What is today, y'all? Yeah. yeah. I've been on the grind and I never slow up. Haters always talk, but they never show up. I know it's my time by the way they show up. Find the beauty in the world. Right. I got the fans, so the drinks on me. Everybody in the club in the VIP. Everybody show me love when they breeze on me. I'm in the Listen, I'm geeked up right now. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm going to say. But this is the day I'm going to get on both of my knees and propose to my baby. And I'm so excited that I even got the chance to pull this off.
40th birthday, baby. Happy birthday. This is a genius idea. Oh, my God. You, like, you thought this all the way through. Like, you, this was not just planned. This was like plan, plan. Like, you got a whole theme in this mother and you told everybody before they got here. Like, this is just phenomenal. This is, bitch, best birthday party ever. <laughs> yes! Hey, Byron. Oh, I miss you, Byron. Thank you for coming, Byron. So good to see you. We would like you to start taking your seats to the back. Oh, hey. <laughs> this is so cute. Woo. No, no. Who is that? I, I, I will handle it later. It's OK, I promise. You OK? Who is that, Nicole? I'm not. We're not doing it. Oh, it's, it's I'm not gonna tell my baby the day just not coming because I don't want nothing to ruin her night. I do understand her needing more time, but what I don't understand is her not coming to her mom's 40th birthday party. She can have that more time after she bring her ass there. No. You okay? So I don't have no idea why Deja decided not to come to my 40th birthday party. I'm not avoiding talking to Deja. If Deja wants to talk to me about something, it's gonna be in her time. But today, I've decided to fully commit to enjoy this moment with my beautiful, so I am. Shades of Judy is such a very thoughtful thing. Brad knows that I'm not the type of person that takes compliments well. You know, I have to be introduced and they have to say all these accolades. So this was like the perfect version of somebody complimenting me without complimenting me. Okay. So it was flattering that everybody had to dress up like me. And to me, it's all things Judy. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. All things I like. Oh my God, it's minutes away. I'm in a daze. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I got to pee. I'm losing my train of thought. My adrenaline pumping, and I'm ready. I'm going to get on both of these old rusty knees, like my grandma would say, because I think she deserved to be on more than one knee. If I had 14 knees, I'd be on all them up. But the time is now, and I'm ready. I don't need no one else but you. Come here. So I just wanted to say happy 40th birthday to you. Um, you are my everything, and I thank you for being all you are to me. I thank you for completing me. I thank you for accepting all my faults, good, the bad, and the ugly. But I know every woman that dreams of a wedding dreams of all the things that comes with it. Anyway, just to make a long story short, um, <laughs> will you marry me too? she was doing all of this. It's a thing I've been fussing at her ass all this time. Everything was perfect. Everything. Ding, 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 ding.